Hi, welcome to this video. My name is Rafael Benevides and today I'm going to show you how continuous integration and continuous delivery can improve your microservice environment. During this demo, I'll be using the Hello World MSA. If you are curious about this application, there is a very nice presentation made by Burr Sutter. The link for his presentation is in the description of this video. I'm also using OpenShift Enterprise 3.1 installed locally. This installation is provided by CDK. CDK is the Red Hat Container Development Kit. You can find it in the Red Hat Developers Portal, which the address is developers.redhat.com. You can go in Technologies and get it from Red Hat Container Development Kit. If you look closely to this application, or if you are a Hawaiian speaker, you will notice that there is a typo in the Aloha service. We will fix it, and we will also realize that during the execution of the CI-CD pipeline, the application running here in this production environment will be always available. The execution of the CI-CD pipeline is managed by a Jenkins instance that's running here in this project called CI. Let's open this Jenkins instance. Inside this Jenkins instance, there is already a pipeline called Aloha Microservice. Inside this pipeline, we will find the configuration about the pipeline script. The pipeline script is a file that defines all the steps in this pipeline. It, it actually resides together with the source code. So let's take a look on this file. The Jenkins file contains the definition of the pipeline. There are a couple of stages defined. First, it will check out the project from, from GitHub. It will build the project using Maven, deploy it to the development area, then deploy it to the QA area, and then it will wait for a human interaction to approve it to go to the production, and finally deploy the, the application in production. Any changes that are introduced in the Git repo will automatically trigger the build. For a demo purpose, we will trigger the build manually. The project build started, and we can check the logs and see that the Maven build happened. And then it started to deploy in the development area. Let's see what's happening inside OpenShift. The build inside OpenShift is happening. If is there any problem during the deployment of this application in the development area, the pipeline will be interrupted as it happened before. And you can open the logs to see what caused the problem. If the deployment is OK in the development area, it will be also pushed to the QA area. The development area has a new image running with the ID 35CA432, which is the same ID running in the QA. Let's wait for the application to become available so we can test and see if we can push that to the production. While the ap application becomes available, we can verify that the application running in production is still using the old image, which means that the application with error is still there. So let's go back to QA and verify if the application is okay to be published. 
In the root URL of this microservice, there is a Swagger UI that allows you to have a definition of the microservice and also allows you to execute some methods. So let's try the Aloha endpoint. The fix is already there. So we can send this, uh, this version to the production. To show you that this application deployment won't affect the availability of the server in production, I'll keep here running a curl command so we can check the availability of the service. Note that there are three pods answering that route. So let's approve the deployment in production. As you can see, the deployment started and it will slowly replace the old pods by the new pods. And during this deployment, the application will be always available. So one pod became available. There is a mix of Aloha and Aloka. The second of three pods became available. And from this moment, all pods available have the right version being used. We saw that this deployment happened without any interruption in the application in production. The version that is running here in production is the same version that was approved in the QA area. I hope that you liked this video. Don't for forget to register in Red Hat Developer's website. Thank you so much.